everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and today we're going to be doing something that no one likes to do especially me clean and organize my refrigerator <laughs> anyway I haven't done it in probably a year and a half tidied it from time to time but a really good clean and organize it yay yay me so excited but it needs to be done and I know when I get it done I'm so excited and happy but um I wanted to let you know so we're going to be using these new I can't see it I'll get it out in a minute but anyway from Redmond products um they reached out to me and asked if I would try out their refrigerator bins and give it an honest review so I'm going to do that and I'm so excited to try these and um <laughs> they're, they're packaged very well um, but to help organize some of the stuff in my fridge so I think it'll keep keep like things together and I do need to grocery shop I got some stuff but not all my main things um, like for my husband's lunch and stuff like that but we will see I might even do a little prep for a long. I don't know I don't know Depends what kind of mood I'm in I get done doing this. But these are they're about 12, a little over 12 inches. They have the non-slip um like so they don't slide too easily in and out of the fridge. But they're a good they're for refrigerators, but you can obviously use them for what you know other tasks. But um so the depth is really good to go in the fridge. They got the non- skid bottoms they got a nice handle in the front so you can pull them out which would be nice because you know you know there's things in the back of that refrigerator you haven't seen for a long long time that's my problem and then you just put more stuff in front of it so you don't have to see it can i get an amen because <laughs> you know you'll get to it later and then you never do and then you're like oh what is that back there i don't know what that is i'm gonna leave it for right now and we'll pretend i didn't see it so it's one of those days I will show you my refrigerator before. Do not judge me. This is real life, people. And I think one of my goals for the new year is to keep my refrigerator looking nice and organized on the inside. Not being lazy and just throwing stuff in there and, you know, or throwing it to the side or not taking the time to put it where it needs to be. Because really, pretty much the rest of my house is pretty good. Organized closets, the regular closet's pretty good. My linen closet upstairs, I need to redo that one, touch it up, but 80% of it is pretty good. But, so, drawers are pretty good. Is this refrigerator, people? I don't know what it is. So anyway, we're gonna use some of these to get it looking nice and organized. Um, like I said, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I do have to get these washed up, but I won't show you that because you don't need to see me washing them. But anyway, um, all right. So let me pause you for a second. Okay, do not judge. You know, I don't have one of those fancy refrigerators where it's like all this big space up here, you know, and I can get into it and you can see, this is why I don't clean it a lot. I hate this refrigerator. <laughs> but you can see over here at the door, it's the wall and I can't get in here very well. So it's hard to pull the drawers out to wash them. I'll become a sweaty mess after I get this done. But I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get to the back of that top shelf because I know it's been a long time. But it's mostly like um, flavored waters and stuff. So they're not bad, but do I need them anymore? They're probably half open. They're probably flat. Who cares? Um, you can see I have some of these type of storage things in here for like my eggs and stuff, which I love. And I have, can you see down here? Can you, right there couple more um, that I use for cheese sticks and stuff like that for my husband's lunch. But anyway, we need to contain sour cream, condiment stuff, some condiments on the door. Need to tackle this, this, this produce area. It's messy. All right, we're gonna do this, but you know what that entails, don't you? <laughs> it's cocktail time. All right, 
Let's do this. I say I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to do it to say one more. Cheers. getting somewhere the shelves are clean and now I'm gonna tackle that and these are soaking also so I gotta put those back up and then I gotta get in there and then we can organize cleaned out. Besides this was barely anything down here so I just wiped it out. This barely had anything up where the butter and stuff went. Where all these I would put because now I'm obsessed with all kinds of these. Ham one, really good. So those are definitely going to go in one of those bins. Um, so it's clean. And in case you do Oops. not follow me on Instagram, which... Hold on, sorry. <laughs> um, Alright, need a drink. No, actually, you know what? It wasn't as bad as a couple years ago. <laughs> it was really bad then. So this wasn't as bad, and I had put paper towel down so I could just peel that up so the bottom drawers I didn't have to take out. I could just use a little bit of soapy uh, sponge and get in there and clean it out. So it actually went really well. I didn't have to, the hardest part is getting these damn shelves out, I'm telling you, because of this door hitting the wall. So I didn't have to. I just... Put the stuff on, let it sit for a little bit, soap and water, stuff like that, and scrubbed it down. And actually, 
it was a lot better. I did take out the side shelves because they're easy and I took out the top, um, this thing here that goes to the drawers. I took that out and soaked it off because it had some like barbecue sauce or something stuck on it in there. Soaked that. So let's put everything back now and get it organized in my cool bins. This is pretty bad. All right. We're getting somewhere, people. Getting somewhere. I'm trying to get all up in your business here. Make sure all my condiments are good. I'm trying to look for stuff in case I dropped anything <laughs> anywhere. Let's see. This is good. Zipper's crying. That's not good. Creamy ranch. Why is this even in the fridge? It's not even open yet. That one's certainly not good. This one's good. This is still good. It's a chipotle ugly. How's it looking so far? So I got all my cheeses there. I had it in that basket before, but I like them better in there now. Um, I don't know if I'm using that one or that one yet, so they're just sitting there. These are where I put, like, you can see the cheeses and snacks. There's little cheese and stuff. Um, these are putting... Oh, my God, zipper scared me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, in there, but it gives me under shelf area, too. So there's where I put my eggs. So I put all those in there with my olives. Okay, so I banged up, I know, I have a lot of parsnips. Um, so anyway, I'm using them for a recipe, not all of them, but some of them for a recipe tonight. And carrots. So I put them in individually bagged areas and put one of the little container, oh, let me lower you, hold on. It's not all about me here. Okay, lowered. Well, I don't know. Anyway, it's in there. And I put uh, the cucumbers and I have bagged lettuce in there. Um, I also put a piece of paper towel down in both drawers because my mom always did it and it really works and it helped to pull all that crap out when it was dirty or that. So, I'm going to put these in here. This way this helps when you don't use something and it gets icky. You know what I mean? All right, I have celery and something else from their lettuce all right let's see starving okay so I did some turnips also those are gonna go in here I always seem to see and now they're in these containers and I can see them easily so otherwise I forget sometimes what produce I have are you ready it is beautiful now I do have I did take out some of those bottles I told you about that are kind of flat or frozen you saw they were frozen in the beginning all that stuff so anyway are you ready do I have any left of the bins so it came in a six pack and these are the small ones there are a medium and large but I think they're a combo pack but anyway so look at this this was like an so they don't get lost back there. They don't get pushed around because I want to use them because you pay a good price for these little better than bullion things. But anyway, so I put them in here and it works right underneath here and I can still pull out my egg thing. Whoa! So anyway, so can you even see? Probably not. Sorry. My bad. Um, okay. So this is nice because I took all that stuff out. Anyway, this bin held my three sour creams. I put the oldest one in the front. So that is wonderful because they get pushed to the back and then I can't find them. This fridge is going to stay this way. 
Um, it's just me and my husband. Come on. And I'm the one that cooks. So <laughs> anyway, so these are my little bullions there. Uh, whoops. Oh, yeah, I already made it a mess. In here, I put all my cheeses. Um the shredded cheeses that I like to use. This has got my heavy cream so I can find them because sometimes I lose them. My broth because sometimes I lose where I put my broth in the fridge. My cherries, this guy's cheese will be coming out shortly. I'm gonna package it up into small little containers. It's gonna go down in here for my husband's lunch so I can just pull them on any day and put them in his lunch. Um, these are obviously his, well ours, but anyway, the meat sticks and cheeses are in here. This puddings, like I showed you earlier, that'll be filled up the next time I go to the store. But it also has some of these cottage cheeses in it. Zipper's unhappy. Um, that's my lettuce. I put that in a bag there. Look, I'm going to use one of these for I'm thawing out a pork roast for dinner. And I thought it's perfect because you know how sometimes you throw it in there and then this is my biggest thing. I'm lazy and I just throw it on the shelf or whatever, or you put it in a little plastic bag or you don't put it in a dish or something and then some of those juices get on your on your little shelves here and that's where it all begins. So in here, I use one of the shelves in here and I got my cucumber in case it kind of goes bad, at least it's in here and not getting by the bottom of this door icky. Uh, my celery is fine, my lettuce, you know how sometimes lettuce, if you don't get to it all the way, it'll start to go crappy also. And juices flow in the bottom that's where my problem is. And then, of course, my carrots and my parsnips. Back here um, is my broccoli. Down here are my cheeses. So I got them all organized in here. And I had three of these left over from, like, Christmas, Thanksgiving things. So I'll use these up eventually. <sighs> I'm out of breath, people. I put my little loaf of bread up here. It's so empty, I didn't know what to put. <laughs> But there's my butter. I'm sure that won't stay there, especially, who knows. But um, then my wine, of course, and our drinks. And I do want to uh, give a shout out to my friends here that keep leaving drinks behind. So anyway, that's my husband's candy bar. He has to eat all the time. <laughs> so clean. I cleaned all the bottles off, put them all down here. Still got room, got rid of the bad stuff. Anyway, I am so excited how beautiful this looks. Like... So I used all of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I used all my bits that they sent me. Okay, so wasn't that amazing? Amazing transformation, right? <laughs> Even though I apologize that it was so nasty in the beginning, and I'm sorry, and I hope my friends and family hold me accountable for my New Year's resolution of keeping the refrigerator organized and clean. So if they watch, or any of my uh, YouTube friends that I've met on here, uh, quite a few. If you start to see it get dirty when I'm doing a cooking video, you shout out to me and tell me. <laughs> Hold me accountable. But anyway, so I'm gonna keep it clean. May not be that beautiful, but it is still gonna be close. Thanks to my little container holders and bins and stuff, and I'm so excited. So anyway, so thank you to Redmond for uh, reaching out to me and asking me to try out these bins and organize my fridge with them because thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I am gonna leave a link down below in a 30% off coupon that they are supplying you wonderful people for watching. If you wanna get those bins and you can click on the link and it'll give you 30% off, that's awesome. So like I said, there's those were the small ones, size six, or size six, six in the container um but anyway size small about 12 little over 12 inches in length um a little over three inches i think probably wide three point something um but there are medium ones and large ones also so if you want to get a mixture of them whatever but coupon code will be down below for 30 percent off and i hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did um subscribe if you haven't you just hit the little bell it's easy to do it doesn't cost you anything and that way the next time i do either another cleaning organization video cooking videos is what i usually do um i like to be in my kitchen can you tell anyway <laughs> uh you will know it'll notify you youtube will let you know so i appreciate you hanging out leave me some nice comments below don't make fun of me too much but i understand if you judge my fridge to begin with i probably would say 
I would judge other people also, but <laughs> I would judge myself. So anyway, so thank you and cheers.